Hey guys, what's going on? It is the Shrugnator here. And I really wanted to talk about everything I'm going to do in UFC 2 again, but I want to explain it a little better than I have in the past. I actually just posted a video yesterday, if you haven't checked that out, explaining about the Twitch series I'm going to be doing for the UFC League. Uh, apparently there are still people confused about that, and I kind of understand because I was, I did explain it a little better than before, usual, but I, I was in a hurry, so I didn't really get to explain it exactly how I wanted to, because I, I just really wanted to post a video that day, so I tried to do it as fast as I could because I really did not have a lot of time at all. But, right now I have the time, so I wanted to go ahead and, you know, really get what I needed to say about it all. Um, first off, starting with that, which is the EA Sports UFC 2 Twitch League that I'm doing, uh, if you go to my Twitch channel, which, you know, same name as my YouTube show, um, you can go ahead and see an entire list of fighters in, like, different weight classes, also in alphabetical order, um, starting, you know, from women's straw weight all the way up to heavyweight. Um, you know, it would just be like a whole bunch of fighters. Like, you can see, like, Daniel Cormier and Dominic Cruz still haven't been picked out off of there that are still, you know, that are champions. Um, a lot of top contenders haven't been picked. It's quite crazy that a lot of people picked some guys that aren't even in the top 15 or have never even been in the top 15 even. It's, it's pretty crazy that people are picking a lot of people that aren't necessarily great, quote-unquote. But, um, you know, I like to see that. I like to see, like, the variety there. Um, I, I, I like that people are picking people that, um, haven't been in a video game before, such as Mursad Bektik, Rustam Kabilov, uh, Makwan Americani, Yair Rodriguez, you know, like, some of those names that have never been in a video game before. It's awesome. Joe Duffy, you know, I, I could go on and on with all the people that have been in a video game before that are in this, in the new one. But, um, so, I really wanted you guys to understand what I was trying to say yesterday, which is how everything will work, is, again, you go to my Switch bio, you pick the two fighters you want, they have to be in different weight classes, so you cannot pick two lightweights, you cannot pick two heavyweights, you have to pick, for example, a heavyweight and a middleweight, I mean, just whatever two fighters you want, as long as both fighters are not in the same exact weight class. Um... You may be confused, like, sometimes you'll be like, oh, where's Jorge Masvidal going to be in, or where's McGregor going to be in for your league? Well, both, specifically those two have already been picked, but, uh, like, McGregor in featherweight and Masvidal in lightweight. And then you got Frankie Edgar, who will probably, you know, who's in two different weight classes, he'll be in lightweight. Um, Mike Tyson's going to be in heavyweight, Sakuraba's going to be in middleweight, um, Boss Rutan's in light heavyweight. So, uh, well, Mike Tyson, Boss Rutan have been picked out of the ones I just named there. Sakuraba is still available. But yeah, there's so many people left, and a lot of people are picking like some of the same people that I already picked. I'm like, yo, you guys gotta look at the list and everything. <laughs> so, I'm really looking forward to see who you guys pick and, and all that. Um, after you pick the fighter, all you gotta do is wait. You just gotta wait until the game comes out. Um, and what'll happen is when the game's finally out, I'll be playing career mode live on stream immediately. Um, as soon as it drops at midnight. And then you also have... Um... The event mode, which is what this Twitch League is all about. Is It's gonna be, um, all in event mode. And you can... Go ahead and just come to the live streams and stuff, and... You know, if you don't come to the live streams a lot, I might not use your fighter a lot. Unless you have, like, a major fighter, I might use them every once in a while. But it, don't count on having your fighter used a lot if you don't show up to the streams a lot. Um, because, you know, the people that are showing up are the ones that are dedicated and really want to be a part of this. So, those are the people that I'm definitely going to be giving um, more matches to, are the people that show up. Um... Then you also got, um, going into the event mode, I'll be making, like, each card should be around 10 fights. Some may have 11. I believe 11 is the highest you can go in event mode. Some, you know, maybe less. It's very, it's going to be very rare, I'm going to tell you that right now, to have less than 10 fights on a card. 
Um, but again, it, it, I, it's just, it's going to be a lot of fun. Like, what you guys do, you come into the live stream, I go into event mode, I, I make a card, well, I'll, I'll make the card before the streams, usually. There might be times where it's like, oh, I'll go ahead and make another card for you guys tonight or something, you know what I mean? Um, but, like, making a card, I don't think you guys understand, like, how long that takes. Because I want to make fights that make sense. Like, I did just make, like, a ridiculous fight, in all honesty, though. Um, just because I was just trying to make three cards uh, prior to uh, the release date. Just so I have something to start off with real quick. And I made a fight which was absolutely ridiculous between Jared Rochelle and Cain Velasquez. Which is just a crazy, crazy different ranked fight. But can you imagine, like, if Rochelle you know, wins, he'll be in the top three right away. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Though if Kane wins, Kane kind of stays in the same area, and Rachel can, it kind of stays in the same area, depending on who's picked by that point. Um, but yeah, like, you guys just come in, we'll start out the fight cards, you guys watch the fight cards with me, because it'll be all CPU versus CPU, and then you will... Um, just, we'll just talk, we talk about the fight, like, during the fight, I'll go ahead and be making polls, like, who do you think won that round, um, or, like, who do you think won the fight, what do you score it, and I'll put, like, 30, 27, 29, 28 him, or, you know what I mean, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make polls in the stream and stuff like that for it, I think it'll make it a lot more fun, especially for a UFC video game, um, yeah, it's like it's something that actually I I've been really excited about to bring to this game because it was so bad. The AI was so bad in the last game, so I stopped doing it in that one. And I oh, I really hope the AI actually like finishes each other. When they realize someone one of them's rocked, they just gotta keep throwing and try to knock each other out. That's what they gotta do, and I really hope they do do that. Um. Yeah, so, again, should be a lot of fun. A lot of you guys have been really excited about it on YouTube and Twitter. I've seen people like, oh my god, I can't fucking wait for this. And I'm, I'm thinking, like, fuck yeah, dude. Like, I'm, I'm the only person in the entire world to do this for a UFC video game. This is basically what I do for WWE as well, which I... The WWE one wasn't an original idea by me. It's kind of just... So, um, something I started doing because I saw someone else doing it in Interactive Universe. I was like, what's this? So I started trying it out and I love it and you guys love it and I decided to do it for UFC one day and you guys loved it but then you guys were complaining and I was complaining about how bad the AI is and we were seeing maybe, if we were lucky, two finishes on a card. Sometimes we wouldn't even see a finish because they wouldn't finish each other. Like we had to hope for like a really good death rock or a flash knockout. For a finish, usually, because guys wouldn't be guys, girls, whatever. Even in a five-round fight, they couldn't finish each other because they were just too stupid. This one seems like it's gonna be way better for that. Again, I cannot wait. Um. So yeah, you come in, we'll watch all the fights and stuff. You just basically see how your guy does in his UFC career in uh, in event mode. I'll be keeping records down, I'll be um, giving out, uh, I don't know if in event mode they'll give out the fight of the night and not get on the submission night awards, I don't know if they'll bring that back um, into the series, but rest assured, I personally will be, um, if they do not have that feature, I'll be making the decision myself for who got knocked out of the night, submission night or fight of the night. Um, also, um, I will be making a pound for pound list after the, um, the first day that I do event mode. I'll make a pound for pound list so we can see who the top 10 fighters are total in the league. Um, so yeah, I, I already put, um, if you guys need to, if you guys want to see it, look on my Twitter. My Twitter is in the description. I did put up the first three fight cards that we will be doing for event mode. Um, yeah, they're all on my Twitter, so just look at the pictures, basically. That's all you gotta do, is look at the pictures, um, the last few pictures I posted, and they're all, all three of those pictures are fight cards I made. It took me, the one card took me a solid 40 minutes, I think, to make. Like, you gotta, like, I'm really trying to put on, like, a good card, but I'm also trying to put on 
um, fights that make sense, and every once in a while I'll throw in a wild card fight that'd be like, whoa, how the fuck did he make this fight? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just don't want it to get boring for you guys. Like, CM Punk has been picked. I have him up against Rick Story, I believe, on the second fight card, which I actually might end up making the first fight card because of how good I made the second card. I think it's too good of an opportunity to pass up on making that the first fight card. So, yeah, it's, it's all CPU versus CPU again. All computer fights. Um, everyone's so excited for it. I'm so glad that everyone's excited. And people are like, why is my fighter on this card? It's like, oh, well, it's like... <laughs> if you're in the lightweight or welterweight division, it's not going to be very hard for you to find a fight. Because those... Like, a welterweight has nine fighters in it already. Lightweight has ten fighters in it already. And I think the closest one to, uh, to that amount is... Um, middleweight with seven. And then everyone else has like six or below, and I think um, the lowest one is, I want to say women's bantamweight with five, or women's strawweight I think also only has five, I don't really know exactly. Or, actually women's strawweight just got another one, someone just took Michelle Watterson. But um, yeah, again, I, I've been kind of rambling it for the most part. I don't know why. I'm very sorry about that. I've been talking 11 and a half minutes about like this one specific mode, and I'm very sorry that I'm taking so long to uh, talk about that. But I, I really hope you guys are excited about this. This is one of the things I'm most excited about, not just because I like watching CPU versus CPU fights in video games, and I like, you know, have my own UFC fantasy world, but also you guys get to experience that with me live. And that's what was so much fun doing it for WWE, and I hope we can have that much fun doing it with this WWE, uh, with this UFC version that I have. So if you see anyone else doing this, I don't care. I'm 100% fine with other people doing this, um, the UFC League thing I'm talking about. Interactive UFC, whatever you want to call it. But just make sure it's like, hey, Zrothenator started this, don't try to go around saying you're the one who invented it or whatever. I just don't want assholes to be like that, you know? So, yeah, now now I can move on to other shit. Um, career mode, again, I plan on, um, if you guys didn't see, I actually, um, I posted on Twitter, um, exactly what I'll be doing with, uh, career mode immediately on, on, uh, Twitch as soon as, uh, the game drops. I'll be playing as a lightweight kickboxer. You guys voted for it. You guys voted for a lightweight it was going to be welterweight because I had you guys vote like a month or two ago for it. You guys voted welterweight, but then the beta came out. Yeah, it was like two months ago. Then the beta came out and it was all welterweight. So I don't want to do, a, you know, I don't want to start off on welterweight and again just be stuck fighting like the same guys I've been fighting in the beta. So I thought I'd change it up. You can do lightweight this time. Um, you guys voted. I, I, I chose between like the four um, lowest weight classes for males and you guys chose lightweight. And then you guys also chose, out of the four styles I put down, you guys chose Kickboxer. So, lightweight Kickboxer will be him. For YouTube, um, I'll start off with a middleweight mixed martial artist character, which is going to be my main character in the game. It's going to be me, just with abs, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, again, cannot wait for that. Um, I'm going to try to become two-time champ. At least um, in one of the career modes. I I'm definitely going to do it in like a bunch of them. But I also plan on doing Ultimate Team again for you guys. Which will be um, Twitch slash YouTube um, series. It's going to be, well, Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> going to be doing it on both of, their, both of them. So if you see like, oh, part one on... YouTube and then part two has like a huge leap in fights or something like that. It's because I was doing it on Twitch or something, you know? Um, then you also got online, which I won't play that much for you guys. And then I'll also be doing stuff with friends and stuff. A lot of stuff in store for um, you guys. Like the series with um, my buddy Kyle for event mode that we'll do on UFC, which is just like my WWE Interactive Universe series so far um, on WWE 2K16. Um, then we'll also be doing um, a series with Marshall Mind. 
Yeah, if you guys know who Marshall Mind is, um, someone I've known for a little while now. Um, we were supposed to do a series on UFC, EA Sports UFC 1, but he had ended up, um, right before we started it, he got called up uh, to go to Canada to, you know, test out the game and stuff, be a game changer. And, you know, I was like, oh, I completely understand that, and that's... I mean, fucking fuck me, dude. Like, <laughs> just fucking forget about me. You go be a game changer. That's way more important for you. Most definitely. I was kind of bummed out that we didn't get to do that series. But, I mean, it's a way bigger opportunity. It's way more important to me for him to do, um, to be a game changer rather than do just a series for me on the last game. Because he's such an intelligent human being. I love the way his mind works. I almost agree with him on every single thing he talks about. It's absolutely ridiculous how um, how like we think, and I think we're gonna put on some great shows for you. We've already started some uh, started some trash talking on his YouTube comments and on Twitter. I think it's gonna be a fuckload of fun hanging out with Marshall Mind. Definitely, um, me and Reverend Ghost will get back on that grind. I know you guys gotta be missing those fights with Reverend Ghost. We had some fucking bangers on Twitch in the beta. Oh my god, one of the best fights ever with him. Um, so I want to thank you, uh, go ahead and thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit that comment section up. Let me know which two fighters off my Twitch bio that you want. And, of course, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.